Monday and we're starting off the week exactly how I did last week. I woke up earlier today to edit the vlog, but it's still past noon. The vlog was supposed to go up at noon. It's 1.48 and right now I'm watching it before I upload it. I had half a burrito that I put in the freezer that I'm currently warming up in my air fryer so I can eat that for lunch. Like I didn't have my meat defrosted. Like I took out my ground beef this morning so I can make that for dinner. But for lunch I had nothing and I needed to eat, babe. So right now that's what I'm doing. Watching this video, then I'll upload it. Then I'll get started with my day because I still need to record my TikToks, edit them. I have some emails I need to send to my manager to get some content approved. I need to upload my video again. All the promotional stuff, all the things that I do Mondays, I need to set up another call with him this week for like strategizing and then I need to call my other creator friend, Nyla, you've seen her in the vlogs probably for New York Fashion Week. We are going to do a little Zoom call to kind of get like creative ideas flowing um, just so we can get inspired and like inspire each other. Probably going to get some other girlies in that video or like in that video call as well. So just like administration stuff and just like posting and stuff. But first I need to eat and finish watching this. It's a fact that getting all that up and one email took that long. I learned my lesson. I will no longer be leaving my video editing of the week for last minute, aka Monday morning, when it's supposed to go out Monday at noon. This week, I'm going to be editing it on Sunday. Or maybe a little bit throughout the, like, I'll finish editing that day's component the following day and then come. Sunday, I'm done. Let me try that this week. Small problem, I haven't uploaded a TikTok for the day yet. Ugh. I think it's interesting that I've done this for so long yet. Oop. All the time I feel like I need to figure out a new routine. Quickly filmed a little hair video. I recorded a hoodie video because I've heard people give their two cents about the best hoodies. And I think my hoodie is a good option because it's a great basic and it's economically friendly some that i've seen have been some like i've seen some really cool options out there however some of the prices are a little up there so i decided to you know give my tried and true that i've had since 2014 anyways if you want to see that video it's in my tiktok the lighting in here is my worst nightmare why do i look yellow yes that is the christmas tree up i came home and my roommate had already put it up i honestly don't think i'm going to be doing any homework today babe i'm so sorry no it is five o'clock it's my reading week right so this week i'm supposed to either use it to catch up or relax but because it's five o'clock and i'm not in the headspace to do my homework i'm just going to be doing my social I'm going to finish up with my TikTok. then i'm probably going to clean up the house and then i'm going to try again tomorrow oh so now you want to be now you want to look kind of okay but before when i was recording my little spiel you want it to be yellow i started this crochet project i don't know when but then i got so busy i didn't finish it it is a work in progress this is the front or back panel and i'm trying to build the front or back panel so it's going to be like a vest and it's going to connect on the sides i one of my mutuals on tiktok was wearing one but she bought her somewhere I'm like mm, i like to crochet i think i can make it is it going to look profesh profesh don't look too close but is it Looking good so far? Yes! And hopefully it turns out good. I also have the neckline. So I have to figure out, after I finish this panel, I'm gonna figure out how to attach the neckline so it doesn't look wonky, and then make the side straps. I'm not gonna finish today, but it is a project that I'm currently working on. I think I already introduced a vlog, and then my camera had no battery left. It's 2.54. I recorded my videos of the day. I also ordered my groceries in. I was gonna re record me showing like my grocery unpack and my battery had no more juice in it. I have three and they were all out of juice. Battery pack is charging in the back. I finally have enough juice to keep recording on this one. So I'm like, yeah. My room, we already know the state of it always because every time I record something, there's something that happens. I'm doing laundry, so be proud of me. I was gonna continue vlogging in my living room, but the lighting is not very good. There is something that I do wanna get off my chest because first of all, the things that are happening around the world, absolutely crazy. There's things happening in Congo, in Haiti, in Palestine. It feels very weird to continue to live my life and enjoy things. Things when I know so many people that don't know if they're going to wake up tomorrow. There's a lot of things that I need to think about when I create content. One, I have influence, I have impact. Two, I am not the perfect example of an activist. I am still, I'm learning as you guys are in real time. I know that there are experts in the current events of the world. 
I rather use my impact to amplify their platforms. So you can see the information that they're sharing live and in five and you can get better information than you would get from me because I'm not a reporter. This is always a sticky situation because I feel like no matter what you do, it's never enough for everyone. As I'm speaking today, people are gonna be like, unfollow, that's fine with me. Go ahead and do that. If I choose to speak today, people are gonna be like, oh, but why aren't you speaking on this platform, this platform, this platform? Or if I do, do choose to start to speak on all my platforms and people are gonna like, oh, you're not posting enough during the day. You know, there's never gonna be enough for everyone and I'm trying to use my influence as much as I can, as best as I can. And for me, that is to continue to not only make the content that I make to show like, you know, there's so much going on. Maybe I can provide you with a little laugh, but also use my platform to amplify the voices that are my heroes, honestly, day in and day out for the things that they're, they're doing and sharing the information. Some people use their voices to amplify the current issue by sharing music. Others use art to amplify voices. Activism does not look, is not one size fits all. It's different for everyone and I think that's what I wanted to share as well because the way that I choose to relay the information is not exactly how everyone else is going to do it. My version of influencing might be sharing more Palestinian owned brands and changing the brands that I use on an everyday and put you on those brands. Even though we can't be there on the ground helping people, we can use our wallets to make a change and use that as a vote. And I know that as much preparation as I did to really get my thoughts and collect my thoughts, I probably still mess something up along the way. There's probably still gonna be something that people are gonna take the wrong way and I'm okay with that because I rather have my conscience clear and I rather know that, you know what, during this time of need, when people back then in 2020, when all those people helped me, it wasn't a one-sided thing that like, oh, thank you for supporting me and my community and I'm not gonna do the same for yours. That's never this. And that was that's that was never going to be the case. YouTube was my first platform, so I've always felt more comfortable to share my whole thoughts here. And I'm still trying to see how I will use my plat my other platforms to also inform and influence. But just know that I do stand with all the countries: Congo, Haiti, Palestine, and free them, free every single one of them. Yeah, that's all that I wanted to say. Hello, it is. 5.50 on a Tuesday, and I've done zero homework on Monday and Tuesday, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's my reading week. I'm supposed to be relaxing. Je relax. I'm relaxing. Anyways, I'm going to try to make lasagna soup. I think I have all the ingredients for it. I don't know. Last week on the vlog, I basically was a cooking show and showed you every single thing that I made, and I'm like, girl, you're not a cooking channel. Let's pipe it down. So... Today I'm just gonna tell you, hey, I'm making lasagna soup. And then right now I'm just gonna cut to the part where like, I have my lasagna soup. And if you're on the screen like, no, Natasha, you should have shown us. Too late. I made up my mind. I just realized right now how much I love being at home alone, vibing, music blasting. I was just dancing in the kitchen. That's such a vibe. And I'm so grateful to have a home, one, to be able to dance in my kitchen, two, to have working legs to be dancing, three, that my knees haven't given up, four. Honestly, every day I'm like, I'm just gr I'm grateful for life, grateful for everything, just so grateful, especially with everything happening in the world right now. I am grateful for, e oh, should I be watering that plant? I'm grateful for every single thing. Let me find out how to make this lasagna soup and I'll show you the end result. The lasagna soup is done. It took me longer than I had anticipated because I realized that I, had some of the ingredients missing so I was like okay I'm gonna make it without some of the ingredients but then I was like then I had too many of the ingredients missing and then I was like you know what I just put in another grocery order the ingredients got here do you see that big pot back there yeah that's the thing because I was making it in my small pot it's like this big and then there was too much liquid and this much space left over and I said that's not gonna cut it so I took out the huge pot that we had stored up there okay here's my lasagna soup here's the ricotta mozzarella parmesan basil topping I bet there were alternative ways to make this but I literally just put the first video and made that recipe because that video had 10 million views so I said I bet it works Got my ladle. It smells great. I'm hoping this lasts for a little, couple days. Here's the soup, and that's the ricotta, the whole cheese thing. 
that I bet it's gonna melt. I don't know if you can see well. There's a soup. Ooh, I probably need a spoon. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I made mine with ground beef and Italian sausage. Ugh. I love that I can cook. Guess what I'm doing? It's a little whoopsided on the sides, but don't look too close, babe. Don't look too close. I announced, not announced, <laughs> I made a TikTok that I was making this little vest. And now, and I've been working on it for a minute, like on and off. But now I feel the pressure to work on it and finish it. Because I feel like people are going to be like, we want to see the finished product. And they haven't said that yet. They're kind of, they're currently, y'all are currently in awe that I made it. But... I definitely want to finish it soon or else people are I, I'm gonna have nothing to show for the finished product I need like four or six more rows I need to compare and contrast to this and then I need to make the side pieces that tie so I have this and then two two side pieces to make for each side look at that so pretty I don't know how long I've been crocheting but every time it will remind me hey girl you don't know how to count. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Currently walking Jackie Ina's New York Fashion Week recap that she just posted. Love her bad. I love her so much. She's so amazing. I hope to one day meet her and be like, oh, hey girl. And she'd be like, mm, you're cool. Yeah, until then I have lots of work to do. Not to become cool, but I don't know. Watching this re-reminds me and re-inspires me that I need to work extra hard xd mode from now until august of next year and then beyond that as well because i want to go to all the cool shows that i saw that were going on last year in fashion week next year and in order for me to do that i need to create the content and you know grow to be like invited to get those emails like to get a bombardment of emails and people who want to dress me and put bring me here bring me there and i have to be like oh sorry I don't have enough time. <laughs> That's what I want to be doing next year for Fashion Week. Happy Wednesday. I just did my makeup and I'm going to start recording for the day. Hey, I just did a video styling my little vest that I made. Let me see if I can, maybe I can just put you down on the tripod. It's a little crooked. I'm going to leave you there though. Okay, I'm wearing shorts, but I made a video styling my little thing. Am I going nowhere? No, nowhere to go, but I just wanted to see what it looked like on. I think I finished. Oh girl, don't be falling over. I think I finished my recording for the day. I do have to edit the videos. It is 4.52. I'm going to eat lunch first. Not the tripod trying to attack me. Since the moment I ate breakfast this morning, I was like, I'm so excited to eat my lasagna soup because I ate with that. Whoever made the recipe ate and I ate even harder when I made it and slayed it. Would I consider it soup? No, I would think of it more as a deconstructed lasagna anyways. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> I love throwing in English idioms. Makes me pretend like I actually know what I'm saying. The magic is in the combination, babe. You got the lasagna soup and you need to do the ricotta thing. I don't know if this part of the recipe I followed correctly because the video didn't show it. She just said ricotta. I don't know what it said. It just said ricotta, mozzarella, parmesan, parsley, basil, salt, and pepper. Didn't show it at all in the video. So what I did is to a bowl, I took a couple spoonfuls of ricotta, todo al ojo, everything I did, I eyeballed it. I, a couple spoonfuls of ricotta. I shredded some gouda, because I didn't have much mozzarella. Sprinkled some parmesan, cut up some fresh basil, cut up some fresh parsley, chaka chaka, salt, chaka chaka, pepper, rakata, 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 mix it up. This is equally as important as the the pièce de résistance. Since I started doing my weekly vlogs more frequently, I've realized that I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Because <laughs> guess what? It's one of my favorite things to do, babe. Ah, 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 ah. 
Yeah. One of my favorite things to do ever. Eat! Oh my days. Even though I love to cook, and I think I'm a fairly like decent cook. I, I am. <laughs> silence it's a hot plate i would be working from the desk in the office but it's just kind of dark in that room and kind of stuffy so i prefer working at the kitchen island i'm currently editing a tiktok that should have been up like 30 minutes ago <laughs> but i'm really trying to i'm trying i'm trying to try different things on my tiktok to see what performs the best and kind of find like my sauce because before i was just like posting posting whatever but i currently i'm trying to find a strategy because i'm trying to scale up i'm trying to scale up and i need to find a strategy in order to do so so changing up my editing a little bit changing up my formats a little bit still it's still me babe but just like repackage just a tad so i'm gonna try that with this video and if it doesn't go well i'm gonna go back to where it was because this is a lot more extra effort and if it's not even gonna perform good <laughs> i don't know if it was this vlog i bought an external hard drive and then when i opened it it was only compatible with windows that was not in the description either it wasn't the description i didn't read it so now i have to go return that and get a new one while i wait for that i have to still edit for my old computer <laughs> tomorrow but i've been doing that for the entire week babe so not not even homework just like catching up with classes so today i was like uh let me start catching up i'm caught up on two out of my four classes and right now i'm working on one of them but i'm so far behind currently looking at week three but i'm done for the day i've looked at half of week three which makes me feel better because i haven't done anything else this is why I don't like online asynchronous learning. I wish there was a weekly mandatory lecture that I can just log in on Zoom and listen to because then I have to be there and I'll actually listen. And then when it comes to review the stuff, I'm just reviewing and not teaching myself. Like this is so annoying because it's a, what's this called? What's she call it? She said weekly lesson three, self-directed lesson, AKA read the textbook on your own and find out. I filmed one video and I want to film like three to four more. The lighting is a little weird. I have a package arriving with clothes in it and I'm really excited for that too. I'm going to do like an at home chill outfit vibe thing on my TikTok because uh, I don't know. I think I might head out to the post office to drop something off and I kind of want to go outside today because I'm trying to think. I don't remember the last time I went outside and I know you're be like Natasha what? No but like I, my routine is the same every day. I wake up, I do my thing, I record my videos, I do, well yesterday I did homework, and then by the time it's nighttime I go to bed and then I wake up again. I don't think I've left my house. I don't think I've left my house since I came back from Toronto. Have I? I remember I went on a walk twice, but I'm thinking that was last week's vlog. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I'm gonna get, it'll be like a cozy outfit. I think it's cold outside. Like two days ago it was snowing and I'm like, babe, <laughs> let's slow down. Okay, it's 11 right now. Degrees Celsius, not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind when I'm putting on my outfit. But yeah, it's such a beautiful day outside. It looks really sunny. The past couple days, um, it was snowing for a little bit and I was like, babe, who wants to go outside when it's three degrees Celsius? 
Nobody. Hopefully today feels more productive. You know what I don't like about the winter in Canada, which a lot of people probably feel the same? It gets dark so fast and it's been getting dark really quickly and it feels like your day is over and gone and like you haven't done anything because you look outside it's like 5 36 and it's dark i'm like oh and then i'm like in my brain it's like oh it's time to go to bed even though i've literally done two tasks for the day hopefully youtube doesn't copyright the music playing in the back because sometimes i don't even want to get ready on youtube because i can't jam it out and they're like copyright strike babe my outfit one I love these boots. I'm gonna wash my hands again because I touched my boots. I'm gonna do my skincare routine. It's currently 11.46. I wanna try a, hey, I wanna try to get my TikTok videos edited and scheduled upload by one. Is that realistic? I wanna start doing more of that week three from yesterday. I wanna finish it today. And I'm like, okay, if I start week three at two, I'll probably be done at like, three, four, I don't know how long it's gonna take. And then I can take a break and still have time at night to start week four. I really wanna get ahead. Also, it's Friday, I feel like I should be doing something fun. But uh, every time I go outside, I spend money. I've been trying the Polish Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid for the past couple days and I've been really enjoying it. When I used this the other day to do my makeup, that's the day that, oh snap girl, it is spilling. That's the day that my concealer did increase. And it has SPF 2. And it doesn't leave my face with a white cast. My camera's going like this. Anyways, I want to try something different today. I don't have a BB cream or a CC cream or a tinted moisturizer or whatever it is. And I don't want to do a full face of makeup, I just want to do light today. So I'm going to try mixing my road Restore Cream with a little bit of my Studio Radiance. The thing is, I'm scared that... What if these products don't mix well together? I honestly don't know if I did anything. Ready for the die. First of all, these glasses make me feel very much smart, very much official. I got a package. That's what we're gonna get into right now. Let me get my tripod. Okay, I'm gonna open her up. It's closed, so if you wanna see it tried on, I think I'll post that on my Instagram, I believe. Then I was on the phone with my mama, cause you gotta call your mom. We're talking about, cause I'm going to California to you know, spend the holidays over there. And I realized that I swear, I bought my plane ticket. I swear I did. What had happened was I originally was supposed to go to Hawaii for three weeks before going home for the holidays. I was supposed to leave last week. So I was supposed to be there right now in the warmth. However, I was supposed to also stay with my friend like at her place so that was gonna save a lot of money so in my head I was like okay I'm only spending money on the plane ticket food and a rental car because I'm gonna stay at my friend's house okay I moved you down to the floor because that's where I'm gonna be anyways so I was supposed to go stay at my friend's house some plans changed I couldn't stay at my friend's house anymore and then I was like wait but I still want to go and but then at the same time I was looking at accommodations and for three weeks it was gonna cost me four thousand US dollars so I'm like no so it was a really hard choice because I really wanted to go. I wanted to see my friends. I went to college there. A lot of my friends are there. So I had to decide not to go. From Hawaii, I was supposed to go home, right? So then the ticket was bought like for, for me to go from here to Honolulu, from Honolulu to California. Then I had to cancel that ticket. So then I didn't have a ticket for California. And then I had to rebook my California ticket. Mind you, when I rebooked my California ticket, I had my parents on the phone and I was like, okay, what time works better for me to land so you can pick me up? This, that, and the third, right? So I bought not only the ticket to California, but in order to get to the airport, I need to take the bus. And I bought my bus ticket. So I was looking at it because my mom was like, oh yeah, you're coming this day, this time, blah, blah. And then I'm like, just checking, like, okay, yeah, I got the bus ticket, but I couldn't find my plane ticket. And I said, babe, where's my plane ticket and i was on the phone with her looking for my plane ticket for maybe like 20 30 minutes i couldn't find my plane ticket i logged into my delta account there's you know the part that says my trips nothing and i said what's going on anyways let's unbox this as we're going this is these are boots i'm really excited for these and if these don't fit i'm gonna be upset i don't i'm not gonna try any of these thing, things on like i said i'll put that on my instagram um michael costell times revolve <laughs> i'm really excited Oh, look at these 
boots. I swear if these don't fit, these are this is gonna be the only thing I try on in this in this vlog. These are so sexy. Anyways, so I was on the phone with my mom and I'm like, girl, I didn't buy my plane ticket. And I was really confused because back when I canceled my the original trip overall, I was on the phone with them, you know, telling them, okay, pick me up this time, this place, and I bought both. I remember because it told me it said I had $300 left of credit on my e-credit thing, but then I couldn't find it. And then I didn't get any confirmation email from that first flight, so I'm like, this is so weird. So then I bought the ticket again. There was, like, none of the e-credit was missing, so I was like, okay, I guess just, like, it didn't go through. But thank goodness we're talking about that with my mom today because I swear the day of, the flight i was gonna literally show up to the airport thinking i had my flight and have nothing booked she's snug i wonder is this real leather because you know these shoes when i bought them they are my size but they were a little snug but the more i wore, wear them like they like stretched out a little bit so i wonder if this is real leather because these are snug oh do they not zip up yeah i don't know if these are gonna zip people are gonna be like oh why don't you try them see revolve sends me this stuff and you can't like return a gift, <laughs> you know? Let me try the other foot. No, these are really cute. Maybe with gravity it helps. Gravity. But how cute are they? Look at them. So cute. But I have to break them in. Little sweatpants. These are from Super Down. I always get scared with jeans because you can order the same size of jeans in like three different stores and Half of them won't even zip up. I hope this fits. Last time I got a shirt like this from the same uh, same brand and I couldn't get it off. Like I got in it, barely, and then I couldn't get out of it. So I ordered a size up. That's so cute. Oh, oh, period. I would like an order of caviar. <laughs> I can't stand myself. This is cute though. So I got a lot of winterish type of jacket. Oh, girl. There were so many moments where I could have given up creating content, which means if I did, I wouldn't have gotten to this point right now where I get clothes sent. That's cute. I'm so glad that I didn't give up. Cargo skirt? That was my haul. Now I need to clean up this mess. I also saw a video about this on TikTok the other day and they put the do not eat because it's a choking hazard for children, but she opened the package and just like ate it. She's like, oh, it's not like not safe. Don't, don't start eating it. But I thought that was interesting. while assessing a patient and checking their blood pressure. So without insulin, an individual may become a diabetic. And so those would be the two values uh, that we in case the glucose stays atrium or HHS. You will commonly see a care or when they are. I finished week four, five, six, and seven. I think today we had a guest lecture. I don't know. This is the first time that he's taught a lesson. Love him. He repeats the information like three times per slide, but not in an annoying way. So you can't, it's really in your head. Yes! He's teaching week six. Okay, period. Okay. Today I finished week three and also did week four. Right now I'm going to make dinner. I'm also going to see if I can make chocolate chip cookies because I'm craving it. But today's portion of the vlog I think has been long enough and this video is going to be too long. So... I'm just gonna make dinner and I'm gonna make cookies and I'm gonna watch Netflix and I'll see you tomorrow. Loves. Ah, oh, jump scare your hair. Okay, let's calm down. I'm about to wash it, girl. You've never seen your hair look like that? <laughs> let's be for real. I'm not about to like make my hair nice just because I turned the camera on. This, this is real. This is me. Honestly, I'm just gonna wash it right now. For anyone who has braided their own hair, braids their own hair, a moment of silence. In a moment of gratitude, what you're about to see is $400 in savings. Ah, I'm being so for real. I'm not going to go somewhere to braid my hair when I can do it myself. 
Did I say I was good? <laughs> no, I said I can do it myself. There's a, there's two different statements in that. There's the two different meanings in that. I'm just gonna do it myself. I've done it. Rakata. I've done it before. It's 9:19. I'm gonna start in the next five minutes, and hopefully I'm done by what's nine. By 5 p.m. at the latest. That's why I'm starting early because usually I start at like 10 p.m. at night. No, I'm starting at 9 a.m. today. 5 p.m. at the latest is what I'm hoping for. I have to do the whole process, wash, blow, dry, the whole thing. And I'm going to, of course, make a TikTok. But I'm looking for my little camera adapter. Hello! So I've washed, detangled, and now I've blow dried my hair. And I'm about to part it. What I'm thinking is, because I don't want it last here all day... And I don't want to lose my sanity. So I'm going to braid three-fourths of my hair. So the front section headband, I'm going to be tying it with rubber bands and like crisscrossing it. And then the back will be braids. I think I'm about halfway done. This is the progress. I have four more sections to finish. Let me show you my setup. So I'm using the phone to mirror into the computer so I can sit here and the phone hits the back of my head and I can see what the back of my head looks like. Which was freaking genius because y'all know I've said this a million times, I haven't bought a new mirror, a new that, that big one that I had, like the handheld one to my makeup. And I was using this tiny compact mirror to part and it was, it was going so bad because I was going cross-eyed like literally I was crossing my eyes just to see the part and then my, I started getting a headache and it was not good so I created a little system up and that was great so my bathroom is also a mess because I have kind of like hair sectioned off and everywhere but it's two o'clock and I am starving I haven't eaten anything like I had this much of a cookie because I'm like power through power through you can do it so I have yesterday's chicken that I made which was so good it's warm enough yeah so good, by the way. I really ate that up. Let me put you down right here. My arms hurt. Woo! That is an arm workout. I also made fresh rice because I ran out yesterday. Girl. Rice, chicken. I'm watching Scandal. A wee bit of Fritopia for drink. I was watching Scandal last semester is when I started it. And it was taking over my schoolwork, so I couldn't do it anymore oh that's all the fritopia we got let me make more it was taking over my schoolwork so i had to stop <laughs> and now i restarted today because i'm like i'm gonna need a show that i need to watch for a long time because i'm gonna braid for a long time and i'm like let me just watch scandal again so i never finished it now i'm on season five run a little bit of hot water over it so that way it could come off easily on the side i'm hoping to be done with my hair by four o'clock 4 30 it's 2 23 right now because one my arms hurt two i need to edit the tiktoks so i can post them today and three i want to start my chapter five is it five yeah at least by six o'clock so i can get a bunch of that done and then i can rest let me eat my lunch and then back to business hey y'all <clears throat> hey pookie i'm alive my hair's done. I don't know if you can tell. You can, can you see? Can you see? Can you see the hang done? Can you? It took me 11 and a half hours. All because I wanted to save $400. Yeah, 11, 11 and a half hours. My back hurts. My arms hurt. My heels hurt. I'm just in pain. But I just ate, so I'm fine. I'm recharged and recuperated. I had this whole plan that I'm gonna, you know, do this homework, this, no, babe. It is now what time? It is 8.30, I am clocked out for the night. I don't know why I held you at this proximity to tell you that, but e signing out.